What's up, everybody? I, uh, I'm not gonna start this video saying, Steve Crow the Dog Soldier here, what's going on? Because everybody knows who I am if you're watching this. If not, you'll get to know me. I wanna kinda just show you what my mornings are like. Um, might show you what my evenings are like one of these days. You know, for some of you guys don't know, I own a bar and grill in Tin Sleep, Wyoming. And, uh, so I, I not only sling guns, but I sling beers too. But I'm in my old Toyota. I'm headed to uh, a little place up here that's got a little shooting range on BLM with some dingers. And I think the farthest one's 300 yards maybe. I don't know, I'll have to look when I get here. But anyway, uh, I'm just gonna show you what my mornings are like. I don't have nothing new to show off right now as far as a build today, but I do have my six Creed that I just got back from Texas from, with, or with, you know. Um, I built it personally for myself. Um, it seems like when people call for a custom gun, I say, yeah, I've got mine and I've got this, or, you know, you can wait 45 days, they always buy mine. And uh, so anyway, this Six Creed has a Zermit Origin Action, okay? Has a Zermit Origin Action, and it has a uh, Douglas, double X premium barrel, Graybo Phoenix stock, uh, Timney trigger, and this actually has a uh, AccuFire scope on it. And the reason why it has an AccuFire scope on it because the company that manufactures AccuFire um, is gonna build us a scope. So anyway, let's get to the range, shoot a little bit. I'll show you my damn gym of a pickup truck and my guns. Oh goddamn antelope out there in front of me. Anyway, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna put it on a. Uh, we're gonna put everything on a chronograph. I've got my little bastard here, which for you guys that haven't seen the little bastard yet, you're gonna like it. It's a 300 blackout, seven and a half incher pistol. So anyway, uh, let's get shooting. So, I'll find the dingers. Found a 200 yard dinger. I found a 300 yard target. But no dinger. What the fuck? All right, well, we'll shoot the 200 yard one. Not that big a, not that big a deal. Come on, and it's up in the mountains a little bit. So, <clears throat> what I did is I went ahead and chronoed it. I'm shooting a factory Hornady Precision Hunter. Hornady does not sponsor me. I just like this ammo. Um, but anyway, it says on the box thirty thousand or three thousand fifty feet per second. I am shooting um, right at twenty nine fifty. That's where me and Sterling kind of figured it was when we were in Texas last week. And, you know, sometimes you can, you can make do with what you got. Uh, a lot of people give me shit because, I mean, I'll sight guns in the wind and, you know, do goofy shit off the hood of a truck. But this is pretty much what my, my mornings consist of. I like shooting. Uh, I feel like I need to be a better shooter now that I'm building guns so I can prove my guns a little better. But anyway, nobody wants to, sh you know, send a gun out that don't shoot. And if I can't shoot, how in the hell am I supposed to know that? But anyway, I know on the way in here, I mentioned AccuFire and a lot of people are wondering, oh my God, what is he doing? Okay, so let me just tell you about AccuFire. Uh, 
Sterling met um, Ann Lee and developed a relationship with AccuFire through thermals. Well, I studied a little bit doing the manufacturing thing I do. Um, they own their own facility. They own their own mother company. Uh, they're making their own optics, which I really like because that means they have quality control and that means they have control over quality control. Um, it's really good glass. I don't have no problem whatsoever with the scope. Um, but a lot of people are probably like, oh my God, what are you doing? You got the Dog Soldier Scope by Axion. Listen, I love the Dog Soldier Scope by Axion. I love it. But quite frankly, the, the Dog Soldier Scope, I got one right here on the Little Bastard. It's a side-in scope, hunting scope, side focus, illuminated reticle with a mill dot reticle. And, you know, it's a $300 scope that I'll put up next to any $1,000 scope or less, and the quality will be there, I promise you. It is not a clicker. It's not a target scope. It's not a PRS scope. It's a fucking killing scope. Well, I've been getting a lot of feedback, and I've been seeing some comments. And they're, you know, some people are just dickheads, and they're jealous, and that's cool, but people don't understand. They're like, they're like, why would Kreiner put a $300 scope on a $4,000 rifle? Well, because I can. It's fucking good. And it's got the Steve Kreiner guarantee, which means if it breaks, send that fucker back. I'll take care of you. But when we come to AccuFire, and there, and, and listen, I'm, I'm 90% sure I'm going to start a whole new optics line. Okay? And the optics market's saturated as hell. So this is going to be a low-volume type company, kind of like Huskamaw kind of like Mavic, you know, some of these good in the States companies that, that really believe in people and care outside a big box. Well, AccuFire has the quality control I want, the, um, the communication mainly that I want. And they have a real nice scope that I like, and we're going to tweak it and make it better. Uh, this is a prototype. Listen, it's going to have target knobs. Where I can click, I can dial my dope and click. Uh, it's got side focus. It will have a fire dot, which will be the only only thing illuminated will be the dot inside the reticle. And then it'll have it's pretty much a three post reticle with meals and half hashes. So we're gonna fill that void. We're gonna have target scopes. Um, this is still a hunting scope. The reticle is designed more for hunting in my eyes. And obviously, the mill dot reticle is designed as a measurement system and to shoot people with. But this is still going to be a hunting scope to me, but one that I can dial dope with real quick. One that I can depend on real quick. I'm not so much of a clicking kind of guy, but me and Sterling last week in Texas was shooting a lot of dingers. And it was fun clicking your dope and pulling the trigger and sending it and, and killing a metal hog at 760 yards. That's fun, okay? Uh, but... We just needed to fill the void. So the dog soldier scope is not going anywhere. We're just adding to the line and we are going to create a, a standalone optics company that will be under the, the uh, parent company of dog soldier armory. So anyway, I'm going to shoot some dingers. Let's do it. Let's see if I can even hit that son of a bitch, right? <laughs> Ding dong. Fucking witch is dead. Fried chicken, baby. And I knew that sucker was going to shoot good. And the reason I knew it, because when I was at David Dick's the other day, I killed two coyotes at 200 yards in the dark. Yeah, they were in lights, but, you know, I was getting shit done. I am shooting a little to the left. <clears throat> but I'm holding a good group. Probably a group we are to look at, but I'm not walking all the way up in the mud to get it. I'm definitely shooting a little bit to the left that's three dingers three dongs at 200 yards um i 
I practice my form. My action is a little stiff right now. And I'll tell you why. It is full, you know, 40 mile an hour wind in Texas. I mean, it's just full of dirt. Um, I mean, it's good right here. But there's a little dust up in the chamber. And I can, you know, I mean, I can see some scuffing and stuff. So probably ought to take care of that. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and keep shooting some more. I'm going to do a video here in a little second on the little bastard. So be looking for that in the future. And also, I'm going to talk about the new Legend Maker actions that are coming to the table. Peace out, homies. I'll talk to y'all later. And listen, keep your head up, move forward, stay fearless, apologize to no one. And most importantly, most importantly, think a veteran because without them, we couldn't have these discussions. We couldn't have manufacturings. We couldn't do what we want. I mean, this is a free fucking country. Let's keep it that way and do everything you can to preserve our freedom. Whether you're a liberal or a conservative or whoever, you better open your fucking eyes and realize that we are fucked as we know it right now unless things change. Peace out, homies. Talk to you later.